I am the Director of Creative Future and I've come to welcome you to the Creative Future Literary Awards 2017. This is the fourth award this year and the reason that we do the Literary Awards is to introduce new talented writers who face um, barriers to opportunity. I think some of the challenges are from outside and some of the challenges are internal challenges that we all face. So a lot of people uh, don't have confidence that their voice matters, that their voice is heard or that when I finish my fabulous story will anyone want to buy it? The first one is just getting your foot in the door and actually being recognised as um, somebody who is publishable and therefore sellable. Also what you are able to write about and um, this sort of obsession with it being um, things that are very much related to your identity and um, to see if people will be able to move beyond that um, in the near future. And what's been great is that through the, the four times that we've done this, we've seen more and more entries to the competition, greater and greater quality of writing, a greater diversity of people applying, and what's fantastic is we're now getting the industry to really sit up and take notice. I think it's um, fantastic. <laughs> I'm still slightly in shock at the moment. Um, and to be a winner is, is, is great. I don't really know what else to say, but I think it's great. Ooh, it means that I have achieved some success in my writing, I guess, which gives me a bit of a uh, bit of a confidence boost. It's like, you know, you thought you were good, and other people think that you're a bit good too. Wow. Being a Platinum Award at the moment, it is a testament of my improvement and a testament of my talent in a way. So I'm very grateful for a Creative Future Literary Awards for giving me this. For us it's good because we get to help develop the writers afterwards as well, so it's, it's not just a kind of pat on the back, it's a kind of encouragement, it's, it's an opening a door for people who might not otherwise be able to get the door open and then you know, hopefully they can leave the door open afterwards for other people to come through and, and keep those voices fresh and exciting. Uh, do you know the ideal situation, the ideal scenario would be that there would be no need for Creative Future because everyone's voice was valued, because, uh, the, because there would be no barriers at all to anybody who has talent, imagination, creativity. The, the ideal situation would be actually that Creative Future does itself out of a job. 